Hey, what's going on, G Shock Society? It's your boy G Dub, G Shock Warrior Three Ones. Before we before we get into this special box right here, hold on, let me hit this light. See if it looks any better. Yeah, kinda. But before we get into this special box right here in my hands, um, I gotta tell y'all to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, you ain't know about that. Your boys on Instagram now. G underscore D U B one one one. You ain't see the video that I put up yesterday. I got an Instagram now. It's almost 200 pictures on it. Um, it's on news, releases, updates, pickups. This was on here the way earlier today, this morning, at like 10 o'clock when I arrived. When it arrived, I put a picture of the package, and I said if I got 15 likes, I'll show what it is. And I got 15 likes, and I showed it. So they knew way before y'all knew. If y'all already subbed to me or following me, then thank you very much. But... If y'all not, I'd get on it if I were you guys. But without further ado, let's get into this special box. Um, 2007 Black and Gold Bape release. My first Bape. Um, much anticipated. Found it on eBay for a really good price. Got it from the eBay legend himself, Pondon. P-O-N-D-O-N, if you don't know about him. He has 100% feedback and almost 19,000 sold items. So, the guy's a legend. <laughs> and this got to me in three days. Today's Wednesday. I ordered it Saturday night. Obviously, it couldn't go out Sunday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday through EMS. And bam, here we are. All right. This is a legit full unboxing because it is a special piece. It's my first bait, so on and so forth. So, let's get into it. All right. Gotta pull this top open. But if y'all do know a little bit something about bait releases, this is the manual. First of all, you know that they're only available in Japan, hence the Japan manual. 1289, because it's an 07 release. 3230 wasn't used yet. You if you know a little something about bait releases, you know that there's been two black and golds. This is, of course, the tag. That Chris is mad at me because I have and he doesn't. It's um the Bape tag. It has a bathing ape kind of. I don't even know if it's a sticker or a vinyl or something inside. Might be a sticker. If it's a sticker, we have a problem because I have a thing for stickers. So that'll be up somewhere. See? It says we early. Not really. We're kind of late. But six years almost. That's that's point. And then you move on to see this, the Casio warranty card that came with the piece. But yeah, um, so yeah, so I was talking to some really good bait experts from the UK. Shout out to Boney Bab, Mike Hughes, and Tim, who are kind of filling me in on this release. There's two black and gold babes out there. This is one. This was the first one. The second one was released in October of 2011. That's the one you guys are most, probably most um, familiar with. But there's a bunch of differences between the two releases. Um, first of all, this one was just Bape. And the first, the second one of October, in October of 2011 was actually not only Bape. That was a collab between Bapes. If you didn't know, Bape has two brands within himself. Actually, I think there's more. But that one was a collab between G-Shock and one of Bape's brands. So it still said Bape shall not kill Ape, Bape, Ape shall not kill Ape, and so on and so forth. But it was just designed a little differently. Um, so yeah, that one might be a little more rare. This is a little more old. So it's different. Here's the beauty. Um, if you guys haven't seen a Bape or don't know what Bapes consist of, they don't have tins. They have these hard cardboard kind of jewelry, jewelry case looking um, boxes. Really, really nice. You see the the gold ape on top. Just like on the box. There's no model number on the box. So, yeah. I think it's just TW6900B. Something. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about vapes. I'm currently learning a lot. I'm, I'm talking to people who know a lot about them, but... Like I said, that all started today. Alright, here's a piece. 
<clears throat> I'll go through the differences between this one and the 11, oh, on the 2011 release that you guys are probably familiar with. But beautiful, beautiful piece. Like I told you guys, black watches have been catching up to me lately. This is my third black watch in the last four. Manhattan Portage, the Soho piece. Then I got Battle of the Year, and now I got this. That's all within a week, too, by the way. Um, there's your gold ape and G-Shock on the left, on the right hand side. Um, really nice quality cases. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if the flash makes it look any better. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right. Vape DW6900. You see the gold lining around the face. Two blue eyes, one red eye, like it was the FS. Probably did use the FS module. Thursday 718. This, I haven't even set the time. It's ahead. You see Bape up top in gold. Shock resist under it. You see all the writing in black. The two, the two smaller eyes connected by black. You see the matte black face. Go Ape down there in black writing. Gold. Um... Trim, black writing, on the outside is all matte black um, with the gold writing. This G right here, the 2011 release has a black G button with a gold G. This 07 release has a blacked out G button, as you see, kind of like military style. Um, and then you move on to the sides. This piece has black trim. I mean, I lied. Gold buttons, gold screws. The 2011 release has black buttons, black screws. Um, let's keep moving on up. Take the foam out. Um, where do you want to go first? I guess we can go to the top buckle. The Ursus Major release of 2011 has their um, shield right here. This piece, obviously, as you can see, has nothing. Has a black band keeper to go with it. And then, bam, that right there is epic. I don't know if it's um, normal within all babes, but you see the gold buckle. The 2011 Ursus release had a black buckle. And then you see the G right there. Sick, sick. What's on the back? Apply Japan. I don't think it says Japan. Let's check that out. Maybe if I kill the flash, it'll focus better. It does say Japan. Got to say Japan. And that's the top band. Here's the bottom band for you. The 2011 release this has um, Ape Shall Not Kill Ape right here. While the usual Ape releases have Ape Shall Not Kill Ape going along the band like this. And then the trademark R at the bottom. Um, I know babes are counterfeited a lot. If you just started collecting, chances are you probably came across a fake babe. <clears throat> um, the easiest way to tell a fake, obviously, is making sure the dials work correctly. If you haven't seen my video on how to tell what's real and what's not. But make sure the dials are working correctly, sequentially, like these are. <laughs> and the ape shall not kill ape shall only take up five spaces. Look. One. Two, three, four, five. Doesn't fill in the sixth. Fake babes usually take up about seven. So they'd run one, two, three, four, five, six on that last one, and they'd take that one up too. So they'd like, it'd be, it, the apes on not kill apes would probably be extended. So yeah. <clears throat> there you go. That's how you tell a real and a fake babe. 
Um, I also told you the differences between this one and the 2011 release. Let's go to the back plate. The back plate is also different between the two releases. Um, see right here it says Casio 1289. DW6900 doesn't even have a finishing on the um, model. And then you see the Ape logo. And then it says, let's see what it says. Time for some action. Time is money with your exclamation marks. And time to get ill. <laughs> Most babes do have that. All babes are numbered. So make sure it's numbered correctly. This one's out of 2000. As you can see, and it's number 1512. And the writing is in gold. The engraving is gold, which is kind of cool looking, actually. See how it looks black there? <laughs> when you shine it on, it's cold. That's awesome. Really, really sick piece. Um, let's get to the backlight. Normal teal backlight with the gold bait. That's so sick. This watch is so sick. Ah! But yeah, that's about it. That's your boy G Dub signing off. 2007 Bape XG Shot collaboration. My first Bape ever. Brand new in box. Danny doesn't even have one. Did y'all know that? Yeah, Danny don't got a Bape. But stay tuned. I got surprises for y'all. Like I said, um, check me out on Instagram, G underscore D-U-B-1-1-1. Um, I haven't even I've had it for like a day and a half, and I'm going on like 100 followers. I don't know if that's good. I don't know how Instagram works just yet. But just know that G, pic G pictures come ridiculously rapid fire on that thing, all right? That's about it. Shout out to everybody. The usual. Um, don't follow your dreams. Chase them like I always tell you guys. Um, shock the world. G at a time. Whether it's a vape. Or an FS, who cares? Just do what you gotta do. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about it. I'm signing off. I'll see y'all next time. Um, check me out on Instagram. Try to say in that rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And got much love for y'all. Right? I ain't going anywhere anywhere anytime soon. We keep reviewing these videos. All right, deuces.